Hello everybody, I am Bramman19 and welcome to episode 44 of our Golden Circle campaign in Supreme Ruler 2020. We just took out Indianapolis here, or well Indiana, excuse me, and we got we captured Indianapolis, which was very much needed. Uh, checking out some of its stuff to make sure I got good facilities. It seems like so far, mostly up oh, there's one. Get rid of that. Uh, come up here, take a look, because this is the only other exclave that we didn't check. Yep, all this up here appears to be good too. Yeah, okay. We did good, we did good. Nothing down here that I didn't chill. Okay, there we go, I think we're fine. I have, have sent five units down here outside of Belize. They are slowly working their way there. It'll take them probably a little while to get there. Matter of fact, we could probably check up on them. Uh, there's three of them. Here, one, two, three, I'm sure that's them. Four right there, five is up there. There's actually four units there, and then there's one further down. They're gonna be tasked with taking out uh, all the Belize. That will drop my UN approval down pretty far, unfortunately. I gotta get my U. I gotta work my UN approval with these. I get high UN approval. I need to use them on these nations uh, because we have no Cassus Belly against them, and that will knock it down the most. And then I can come up here and then attack like uh, Ontario and who else after that? Ontario, Quebec wouldn't be too bad. Manitoba would be a good one. Yeah, then going Saskatchewan. To get to Al to Montana would be good. Uh, knocking Hawaii out would help us in the long run. So would knocking out Maine. Uh, both of which would have to be aerial assaults because of where they are right now. Taking a look here. I don't really have the aerial force to launch that assault though. I would need just enough to get me up there, knock out their air force, and then land some units here. And then taking both these spots here just to make sure I have enough supply to keep moving forward. Uh, which that's my biggest worry is having the supply. Yeah, I couldn't do that against Montana though. I can't fly over these people. Uh, Hawaii I could. I could fly straight down there from... What's this town over here I like? Yeah, there it is. La Paz. I could do that from there. Drop them off in Hilo, take that airfield and steep here. Let it get built up again, then jump over here to Lanai. I think we could do that. Uh, Guinea-Bissau in Africa. Let's go look at that real quick. They were somewhere up and down here. I have no clue where they are. Maybe down here. I have no clue. <laughs> I get lost with some of these nations down here. It's very difficult to keep up with them because you never do really think about them on a day-to-day -day basis. At least I don't. These units in place yet? Yep, all five are there. Let's go ahead and declare our war. This is going to drop us down dramatically. Okay, entrench here. Hold out. Let the supply build up around us. Let's move down one more spot. Uh, we can hold on one more. Okay, come on down here and deal with that garrison. We dealt with the helicopter in that spot. Okay, there we go. Now then, let's work our way here. Here's their capital. It's really nothing to it. I'm going to keep working my way around, though. Maybe take this little city right here. Okay, and then grab here. San Ignacio. It's now fallen to our forces. If we are not at war with them for very long, I, I means we can just hurry up and get this back on track. Okay, grab here. All this will fall very quickly now. 
Yeah, you push in there and you mess with him a little bit. That's fine. Alright. Letting this build up. Yep, there goes some of that supply working now. We'll go ahead in here and help him out. Entrench. Take out the militia. There's three garrisons in place. And then we'll take their capital. Come on, guys. Hurry it up. Yep, there it goes. Militia got pushed out. Push in. We took their capital. There goes our militia up there. Why we are falling out. There it goes. There, all their forces are done. Let's go ahead and click here. Repair, because we don't need to do anything else. There we go. We already have units repairing before they've fallen completely. There it goes. Belize is done. Our UN approval is abysmal right now. We're in disapproving. We need to let our treasury, uh, well, our treasury benefits were from them, but our increased spending, that's what we need to be worrying about. Yep, Colonel Saunders. Let's see, who's our next target? Let's go ahead and plan this out. South Africa, Egypt, India, North okay, Volg Volgograd, Cyprus, Angola, Hawaii, Maine, Libya, Manchuria, Montana. All the way down. Um, Ontario seems to be next. So going up into here, uh, that's going to give us 15 million more people. That's not too, too bad. Um... Let's see here. I think I'm just going to wait just a little bit. Let this go up to about 30% or wherever it was. Let it kind of sit where it was. Let me see if I can see where is... Domestic approval was at 40.2% prior to that fight. So we'll actually we'll let it get up to about 35%. That'll actually give us a chance to give the UN approval to go up, uh, a chance to go up a little bit. Allow us to get some more of these special forces, which one just got done. So we'll entrench him here. Uh, no, you need to back out from there. Let's take a look at this one up here. We got one more. Oh. How many units do I have here? Eight. That's perfect. All of them trenched there. Uh, let me look over here at these guys. All but that predator. We're going to send them up here. Alright, that looks good. That way we could easily transport these guys out if we need to. Or I could do some like little quick attack like on Thunder Bay. Quickly grab it, you know, just to say we gave it a shot. We already know this plan will work later on. This is North Dakota. All these guys are, are as mad as they can be, but there's nothing they can do. There's Hawaii. Hawaii is so far into deep into like treasury debt and stuff like that. I wonder if me attacking will just knock them over. I'll probably do it with all the forces I have right now, but I'll wait. I'll wait on it. I'll make sure we do a proper full 10 attack. Oregon. That's a pretty good little deal. We'll run with you. Pretty good here. We have an unemployment of 7%. Do we have everything we need? Agriculture is fine. Fresh water still looks good. Timber. It's close on timber. I'm going to do a little bit more for that. Let's do 20. 20 ought to pep it up. Okay. There. There's 18. 
I find anything existing? Uh, not up here, I guess. Maybe there's some existing down here. Nope. I just want to find a spot I can slip to in. Nope. Oh, there's one in. Okay, so I can just come up here, I guess. There we go. Alright. There's 100 when that's done. Fresh water. Let's go ahead and do 25 more fresh water facilities just to say we did it. There's five. Okay. There's 20. 26. Okay, that's safe. Alright. Um, we'll go ahead and do agriculture as well. Uh, we'll take it up to 100. Let's come up here where we're out of the way of the water. Okay, let's give some of this down here. Okay, we're at 40. Uh, need to find a way to give out five more. One there, that's fine. So there's 47. And then we need to do one, two, three, four. All right, perfect. Petroleum. How are we doing in that field? Not as great as I would as I would like to be doing. We've already checked out all of the oil derrick spots. Can we do oil gas fields anywhere? If we take over anything up here that would be of good use. I don't see it if we did. Nope, okay. We'll leave that one alone for now. Coal mines, how are we doing there? We're Man, it's a type shi uh, type ship right here. Uh, let's do that four there. Mexican desert needs something in it, right? Let's go down here. Up, oh, there's nothing down here anyway. There's eight. I'm gonna do f thirty-eight anyway. come north. Uh, well, there isn't anything north. There's 30, 34, 38. Metal ore, how are we looking? We pretty, yeah, we're pretty good there. Uranium, I can never have too much. Let's see, is there any good facilities left over or am I, nope, there's one here. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's four more there. Um, there we go. That'd be a total of 88 right now. So let's go ahead and try to bounce it up. Oh, that's too many. Never mind. That brings it to 102. All right. Nope, nope. Nope, nope. Nope. We're doing okay in that, I guess, in electrical power. Uh, consumer goods we're doing fine in. Industrial we're fine. Okay, everything's fine then. Timber is the one thing we're not, and it'll fix itself. Nope, oh, just did it there. Market correction. Uh, let's look at our people. We're at 31% domestic approval. Everything's still concerned, of course. Um... There is 40 more days for Special Forces 2 to get to the exact level I want them to be at. Let's go ahead and grab... Let's grab some forces here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to invade here. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. More right here to invade from there. One, two, three, four, five. To invade here. Let's grab some armor. I want to grab these one, two, three tracers up here. One, two, three, four, five. To help up here. One, two, three, four, five to deal with down here. One, two, three, four, five to deal with right here. One, two, three, four here. And one, two, three, four, five to go right here. Okay. So we're gonna invade on this line this line, which is really going to be kind of part of this whole group anyway. And then we're going to have two guys invade, or two sets invade here. And then basically they're going to combine here anyway. And then push here, and then up here. Not a bad plan. Let everybody get in position. This is also letting our UN approval go up. Not going to be very high anyways, but it's also letting our domestic approval rating go up. see those guys are going would really love to start some good aircraft uh, fabrication we got quite a few units in our way to get done this one only has 34 days 53 33 128 94 11 1 33 48 192. Good lord, that F-16C block 60. Good lord. Um, F-A-18 F Super Hornet, 125 days. F-A-1 Banshee, 169. The F-23 has 162 days. Doesn't look anything like the F-23 looked like. Uh, Super Hornet, 131. F-35 Lightning 2, 113. The F-A-2 Ghost, 189. See, some of these have so long left on them. I think we are starting to move some of our production or some of our research up in the top areas. It'll be a while before we get down the infantry fighting vehicles, though. That's a bummer. Okay, move that one here. We definitely don't have full units there yet. We don't have them here yet. Definitely not there. We're just Still moving them in up here, but there's three tanks. That's what we wanted to see. We need one more Bradley fighting up here, as well as a couple tracers. Speaking of tracers, let me grab some more. They need to go in with this uh, cent other central force. One, two, three. Let's send them in here. That way they can cross over. Take that, and then they can kind of just spread out through here, doing whatever they want to do. All right. How many units do I have here? 10 total. How many units do I have here? 10 total. I thought I had more than 10 in these groups. Maybe I had 5 and 5. No, I had 10 and 5 in both of them. Come on. There was a 5, 3, and 3. Over here, there's 5, 3, and 3. Okay, I remember what they are now. Come on, guys, get into position. So again, the plan is to, wait, hold on. I need one more tracer. I saw him down here, there we go. We're gonna move this guy though. He's gonna be a little different. It's something I don't normally do. He's gonna come right here. He's gonna be focused with coming up and taking this point, Kenora. 
Uh, there's no real reason for taking Kenora other than I just want it. It's that way up there. Churchill. Fort Churchill, which is just a research center in an airfield. Okay. Speaking of research centers, are we going to get anything out of this? I'm sure we are. None there. None over here. Oh, there's one here. Two in Toronto. Not there. Uh, moving off over here. Nothing. Nothing up there. Up here anything? No. Well, that's alright. Look at all that. That's all Canadian wilderness. There's just nothing here. A few lakes, or probably lots of little small lakes. And, uh, snow. And moose and reindeer. That's like it. <laughs> Pretty wild. Okay, that guy's moving into place. How many do I have here now? 13 units. That's, uh, the 5, the 3, and the 5. Okay, yeah, that's right. There should be... The exact same over here. I don't know where those units... Uh, these might be it. Nope, that's not one of them. They're coming, at least we know that. Here's 15 units over here. That's exactly what we wanted. There are 16 here, but one of them's not doing anything. Uh, this guy is moving up to there. And that's the last tracer. One, two, three, four, five. That's fine. Two, three, four. There's one storm hunter that this guy over here is missing. He might be like the only storm hunter moving. Huh. Oh well, we can go without him. But it's time to stop anyways, guys. We are at our time limit for today. Um... This next episode, we're going to go in here and we're going to attack Ontario. We're going to quickly take over down here in the south and also take over some of these more far-reaching areas. But, uh, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I will see you guys next time. And y'all...